the great Thar Desert of Rajasthan. I heard from the locals back in Pushkar about some event taking place out here on the dunes. Some sort of camel fair. Completely lost. I have no idea where we are. We've been walking for four hours. Where is this camel fair? God! I was expecting to see some camels, but this is... It's phantasmagorical. Let's go take a look. Taking place only a few days every year, the Pushkar Fair is by far the largest camel market in the world. Over 50,000 camels are bought in Saudi with traders coming in from all over northern India to take part in this shopping frenzy. I've never seen so many camels in my life. Never. Most of these men and women are Rajasthani tribal farmers, descendants from the proud and ancient Rajput kingdoms. They've been trading their camels in the same place, in the same way, for centuries. I met up with Mr. Hare Ram, a local trader, who was happy to explain why camels are so important here. When you look at all the things a camel does, it's really no wonder why it's such an important part of these people's lives. And they really make use of it. The milk is collected for curds, the hide skinned for leather, the hair knitted into fabric. But mind you, a camel's flesh is never eaten. These are strictly herbivorous Hindus who happily collect the camel dung to fuel the fires that make yummy veggie dishes. How do you decide that this is the camel you want? Yes, it is. 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 But how do you know that? It is. It is. It is. It is. How do you know? What do you see? What do you look for in the camel? What features? कोई दो दांत है, कोई चार दांत है, कोई छह दांत है, कोई नेसी है, कोई बुढ़ा है सपा। so less teeth means you buy the camel. अच्छे हाँ आम खरीद लेंगे। Okay, so they look at the camel's age through the teeth. So if it has two teeth, that means it's young. If it has no teeth, then it's a good camel. If it has six teeth, it's too old, and he doesn't want to buy the camel, right? Right. Okay. So Hari Ram, can I come with you and follow you while you buy a camel? Oh, okay. Okay, great. Let's go. We're looking for a camel. Show me the way. That one looks nice. Buddha, Buddha. What about this one? This one looks young. No? He knows where all the good young camels are. Oh, this one has nice nose rings. Oh, he just has bottom teeth, no top teeth. Six teeth. Six teeth. So eight years old. Okay. How much? How much? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand? Yes. What is that in dollars? I think it's five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for this camel. Manga hai ye manga. As I look around, it strikes me that this process is just like buying a used car. The vehicles are meticulously detailed to attract a new owner. A potential buyer sees one he's interested in, walks around it, kicks the tires, checks the mileage, and takes it for a test drive. If all is in order, he sits down with the dealer over some good tobacco and they haggle until a deal is struck. The buyer then goes home a proud owner of a certified pre-owned vehicle that he hopes won't break down on the way home. Four years old, four years old. Oh, can, can you show the teeth? Yeah, he has teeth. He has teeth. Oh. Oh. Yes. 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 
got scared. Got scared. Got scared. Yeah. But you still want the camel. It's a naughty camel. Now, 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 Wow, that's a lot. Did you get a good price for them? Badiya mili, badiya. I hear that this year's fair is better than last. Is that true? Are you happy? Did you sell any? No, I have to take one child. This is very good. This is good. This is good. How many camels have you sold? I'm going to talk about it. 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 Dukki ho. You're depressed? Yeah. Ape dukki, hoot bhi dukki. What are we going to do with our animals? With this animals, we can't get our animals. Did you sell any? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But there are more days for you to sell the camel. Don't be upset. Don't let your hands go, man. Don't let your hands go, man. Why aren't people buying your camels? We are happy. Now you take it. If you ask them, you take it. Let's see. Did you sell any? No, I didn't. I spent that whole day in the desert with the camel traders and I learned that most people here have never even used a telephone. And although it might seem strange, I was kind of envious of that. There's an innocence here, a perfectly preserved little time capsule that hasn't changed for centuries. And you know what? I hope it never does. I got a meal. I got a meal. I got a meal.